former Supreme Court Justice Diane Hathaway facing prison time, fines, and restitution. She's already given up her job, but tonight the feds want more. It's a criminal case that was sparked by the 7 Action News investigators. And our own Ross Jones, who first broke the story, was in the courtroom today when Hathaway admitted her guilt. Yeah, Ross, how does she seem today? She looked like on tape she was kind of taking it all very lightly. Well, inside a very different story, Stephen. Carolyn, good evening. Hathaway could barely get the words out today inside federal court as the woman who's used to handing out convictions was offering one of her own. Diane Hathaway's career was built in the courtroom. Today, that's where it ended. In a short hearing inside federal court, Hathaway pleaded guilty to bank fraud, a scheme first exposed by Seven Action News. A once highly respected member of the state's judicial system manipulated key information in order to avoid responsibility for a considerable debt. This should reinforce the message that we have and will continue to send that the FBI and its law enforcement partners will be relentless in enforcing the laws of the United States of America. Under pressure from the U.S. attorney, Hathaway already gave up her seat on the state's highest court. All that was left today was admit what she'd done. Justice Hathaway, you gave away your career for $600,000, ma'am. Why did you do it? She said nothing outside court and barely more inside. Speaking in a hardly audible voice, Hathaway stood before Judge John O'Mara and admitted to devising an illegal scheme that defrauded her bank of up to 90 grand. She admitted to moving homes out of her name and into her stepchildren's, but the deception didn't end there. She told her bank she would be retiring in 2010, and that wasn't true. And she liquidated some of her accounts so the bank could never see them. The almost two-year scheme, she said, was done to fool her lender. Cases like this one cause harm uh, in the collective, in the aggregate, to our housing markets. And so it's very important for the person who's out there who plays by the rules to see that those who don't play by the rules are held accountable, no matter who you are. The former justice will spend up to 18 months in prison, pay a $30,000 fine and up to $90,000 in restitution. She's already given up her job on the Supreme Court and faces efforts to take away her law and real estate broker's licenses. At the end of today's hearing, Hathaway's attorney left her side, but she remained standing at the defense table, her back still to reporters as she wiped away tears. And maybe the saddest part of all for Hathaway, according to the bank, if she'd been honest about all her assets, she still would have received that short sale. She and her husband just would have been required to bring $100,000 to the table to make the bank whole. So none of this had to happen. As you pointed out, uh, she didn't say anything to you. Did her attorney say anything about this scheme that now is going to ruin her life? He sure did, and he didn't mince words. He said it was dumb. He said it made no sense, and it didn't. This woman knew the rules. She taught real estate law. She didn't have to do this. She tried to pull a fast one, and of course she is And now. she went about it over a two-year period. She did, yep. So she had a long time to think about it. All right, thank you much, Thanks, Ross. Ross. Justice Hathaway won't know her fate until she is sentenced on May 28th, but in the meantime, her law license and real estate broker's license are in jeopardy following today's guilty plea. But the good news for her, she is going to get to keep that Florida home that the feds had initially tried to seize as part of this whole probe.